Now, if you're looking for an entry-level mountain bike, yeah, but have a little bit more latitude in your budget, the Marlin 8 may be the bike for you. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona, and you are watching another great episode of Bike Showcase on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? Now you guys might be wondering, Jesus, Brandon's wearing the same shirt four weeks in a row. No, it's because we filmed all the videos on the same day, guys. So we're clean people. We change our clothes. Don't worry. Sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes yeah. <laughs> Once again, we're at the Check Bicycle Store in West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona, because we're just cool kids hang out, eh? and me. And today we are talking about another great entry-level mountain bike in the Marlin 8. But this one actually has some refinements over the Marlin 5. And that's why I said, if you have a little bit money in your budget, maybe you've already had that Amazon or Walmart mountain bike, and this is your next step because this is what you can afford, which is I, everybody's got a budget. This is actually a pretty nice bike, Brandon. I think so too. $1,300, $1,330 to be you know, more exact. Um, this is pretty darn good. Let's talk about some of the advantage that we, advantages that this has over the Marlin 5, yeah. and then some of the similarities as far as that goes. Yeah. Um, weight, we're still coming in at a, roughly the same weight. Didn't have a whole lot of savings there. No, um, no, I'll really. put the weight on the little banner and everything like that. Not that it's a huge deal on the entry-level bikes, but some people are concerned about that. What, this is probably, what, 20, 27 pounds or something like probably that? Probably around there, yeah. Something there. Um, the rim set, these you can actually go tubeless. They are tubeless out of the box. Tubeless out of the box, Ready which is go. huge. Because on the Marlin 5, you couldn't even upgrade a tubeless. That was it. That rim set was what you had. So now you have a tubeless out of the box, which is really, really nice. And we've got uh, the Kobe rims on here. And I like the Kobe rims from their entry level up to their elite carbons. They do, um, they do really, really good. We are still talking about quick release axles though. No through axles on this. But when we talk about the front, when we're maintaining a hydraulic braking system, we now have a rock shock, which is gonna give us adjustability that we did not see in that Suntour fork on the Marlin 5. Air adjustability. Air adjustability, so more that's importantly. Huge. Yep. To me, the two things you just talked about are the reason to go to this bike. Think about the money you're gonna save Yep. by not replacing tubes yeah. all the time. So these wheels will pay for themselves they will. after a few years. Mm -hmm. And that fork is head and shoulders, just night and day. So much better than the Suntour. Than, than that Suntour fork that's on the Marlin 5. Now, so we didn't those really... two things are paying for themselves already. There's other things we'll talk about, but worthy, worthy upgrades. Yeah, and we didn't really talk about the travel on the Suntour fork. This one I'm gonna assume has somewhere what, around 100, 100 millimeters of travel, okay. Um, and again, it, it's not gonna be something you would find on the fuel of the slash, but it's going to be a good quality fork to take you through a lot of yeah. the trail systems that we have Absolutely. here. Um, we now have a SRAM one by, mm -hmm. which was vastly different than the two by that we had on the Marlin 5, which was an At uh, Shimano Aeolus, Atlas, whatever. Uh, the Altus. The Altus. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see a 12-speed cassette 12 here speed on the back. 12-speed cassette on there, which it's is, SX, so it's, you have NX, SX, and then you go up the line. Right. Um, so the shifting is okay. It's but this good, is something you can speed. actually upgrade though. Yep. Yep. That's it's, another thing. Yep. This is now becoming a contemporary bike with that one by drive from one by yep. 12, drivetrain, we are now in 2023. Yep, <laughs> where we need to be. <laughs> exactly. Um, some of the carryovers that we're seeing, and then we still have, you know, uh, clincher in the back, hydraulic brakes in the back, we're good there, similar. We still have a non-dropper on the dropper post, but with this one, you can do a P and W, right. and we can do a, an externally routed dropper post if you wanted to put a dropper post on here. And P and W, in my opinion, makes the best dropper posts so i've had no issues with them but they make a really nice external, external dropper right. post um, and while we're on that subject if i may cut you off yeah if you really want a dropper post this is gen 2 
Gen 3 comes with a dropper post ah, for 100 bucks more. Wait okay. for the Gen 3. You'll already be routed with an internal dropper post okay. on that bike. So that's a huge upgrade from, from this bike. And Absolutely. For not much more money. And really bringing the Marlin series into that modern era. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, you've got a hardtail. We still got our basket mounts back here. We still don't have a tapered headset though. Nope. nope. So still I'm pretty one of those. sure. I'm pretty sure frames are identical between all the Marlins uh, Gen okay. 2. Okay. Um, which again, it's going to make it a little bit because modern ones are tapered as far as that goes. Right. Um, and no boost spacing on the rear. No so boost spacing on the rear or anything. Yeah. We still got the hydroform yeah. on the aluminum tubing and yep. everything like that. A nice looking frame. Nice looking frame. Very nice looking frame. Very well designed. So here we're seeing, I mean, granted, $600 to $1,300. That's an $800 price difference. So that's a jump. We know it is. We're not saying that this is you know, bargain basement, entry level bike for that type of coin. <clears throat> but for that price increase from the Marlin 5 to the Marlin 8, we're seeing a significant upgrade in componentry. Um, and when it comes to maintenance and upgradability, this bike has it where the Marlin 5 did not. And those are going to be some key differences. So this bike, as you grow, you can actually, this bike will grow with you you know, which is, is an important thing. So if you're, you're that not... new rider, you might be in this bike maybe two years right. or three years instead of one to two years. I mean, it just, it depends. Extends. It leaves you right. wanting less, especially with the air fork and those in that two plus 30 wheel set. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a, it's a more sound investment. You're going to get more longevity out of this bike, in my opinion, um, than when you would the Marlin five, both great bikes. But again, that Marlin five, definitely the first time out of the gate, your first bike, you're not wanting to make a significant investment. We That's get what it. you go with. We get it. If you've already had one of those bikes, again, an Amazon or a Walmart bike, and you're looking to step up and you still need to be budget conscious, this could be a good, great choice, you know, as far as that goes. Dislikes, Brandon. We've talked about some of the great stuff that this bike has at the price point. Do you think they could have included through axles on this? No, because here's a, here's a tough one. If you're going to get this bike, well, it's so talking hard not about to step a Roscoe. up. To step up to a Roscoe yeah. or an Excal. Right. And now point. we have a bike that will really last you because they're very much upgradable bikes, mm -hmm. upgradable frames at that point. So this leaves us at a, oh man, what am I going to do? Am I going to just take that next step, spend a few hundred more bucks and go Excal? Right. So that's, that makes it tough. Right. It does. It's a tough decision. And we understand again, budget constraints. You know, thirteen hundred dollars. Maybe you don't have a good helmet, so maybe now you get to get a, you need to get a helmet and a couple other things to go along Animal with the bike. Back, things like that. You yeah. know, that stuff adds up as as much the accessories do. So we totally understand um, as far as that goes. Anything else? Anything else you would say about this bike as far as dislikes for the entry level rider? I mean, again, things that we don't like about it because we're at a different level of riding, but for an entry level rider, I don't I think I think they'd have a great time with this bike. Yeah, can feel, they can feel good about riding this bike. Yeah, there's not a your, whole if lot. If this is your first bike, shit, it's kick-ass. Yeah. <laughs> not the movie kick-ass. <laughs> Although that was a good movie. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie, so. Uh, God bless Nick Cage. But I would definitely, of course I'm gonna sell this bike, I have to, but if you're going to think about this bike, just get the next gen with the right. dropper pulse already in there. Then, right. you'll be, then you'll be set. Then you have a really good value. Yeah. That's going to be, yeah, for a hundred dollars more, you know, it's, it's really not that bad. Um, but there you have it. All right. Brandon, got yeah. anything else to yeah, add? No. Good. All right. Like subscribe, bell notification, my friends, it helps out the video. It helps out the channel. And if you have any questions about the Marlin eight, you can comment down below, ask them in the comment section. We'll answer them or, you can call Check Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix. Their link is going to be down in the description. And Brandon or one of his team, it'll be happy to help you. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, the devil's work of social media. But it's important to get out of Arizona and get the word out about get out of Arizona. We do group hikes. We do group rides, all kinds of fun stuff. And that's where you will find that information, my friends. Also, we have some affiliate links down below. And if you make a qualifying purchase, you won't be charged anything additional, but we will receive a small commission, which helps out with gas money, park passes, and coffee money, the other trifecta that we love so much around here at Get Out Arizona. So on that note, my friends, there's not much else to say. Again, if you're looking to step up and you have the budget or entry level and you have the budget, the Marlin 8 is a great choice. You have a solid bike that will definitely last you the next few years of your riding experience. So 
What do we say at this point? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out, Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care, everybody. Brandon, we'll see you next week. Cheers.